Hi and welcome, it's Ruth here at artfulstampin.co.uk and it's another Christmas Stampathon uh, challenge for February and this month we're going to be looking at embossing. Now you can do it various different ways. I'm going to be showing you a couple of ways with this card that I'm going to recreate for you but you can use whatever you want and please create four cards and pop them onto the uh, Facebook page for Christmas Stampathon 2021. So let me just go through a couple of different techniques that I've used here. I've used some heat embossing in the background using this beautiful stamp from the Textured Essentials stamp set. And this is one that I think I probably use the least. That's partly why I wanted to use it, but I really loved the kind of the ornate decorative element to this stamp and wanted a kind of excuse to show it off and I think embossing using embossing powder is just perfect for this then the other technique that I'm going to show you is creating a custom embossing plate so you can use embossing folders and embossing folders come with all kinds of designs sometimes they come with words but sometimes you need something that is custom to your needs and what you would like to do so I'm going to show you how to do that so I use the uh, Playful Alphabet dies, this collection here, <clears throat> and I cut for myself uh, the word Noel, and I cut out four of each letter and st stack them on top of each other and stuck them down. So this is my kind of cu custom embossing template or stencil or whatever you want to call it. Then I use my mini cut and emboss machine so I'm just going to draw the camera out a little bit so that you get a better picture there and I used the number four plate the number two plate then my custom plate there and then now this is where the kind of the magic happens <laughs> you need to get yourself um, a half piece of one of our chamois and it has to be damp Okay, it does have to be a little bit damp, and if if it is not damp, then just you know wet rewet it and really 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 squeeze out as much moisture as you can, or maybe just if it's wet, leave it out for a day and then hopefully it will kind of get to the point where it's kind of like almost touch dry, but it it feels damp. So then you get your piece of cards. Uh, card that you want to emboss. Um, <laughs> I did have mine on my table. Where's it gone? Oh no. Okay, that's great. Got it. <laughs> the magic of cameras. I can I can pause it and find it and then come back again. Okay, so then you place the piece that you want to emboss over the top of your custom word. Then you layer your chamois over the top of that, and then you put the second plate number two over the top. Okay, so then you roll that through your machine. Oh, now I forgot that it does like to go in staggered. So I'm just going to stagger this a little bit because it doesn't like it. It doesn't like going through um, all together. So just remember to do that. So what I tend to do is put the first two plates close together and then I put the third plate a bit further up. Okay, because it kind of feels like quite a thick sandwich, but the the chamois is going to squish underneath the rollers once you go it, get it through. Right, so this is the bit that I love. Like, ooh. Now, when you get it out, it will be slightly damp. You may even get a bit of drippage because the rollers are squeezing the, that chamois. And in effect, it's kind of like a mangle really it's like drying it almost but you end up with this beautiful embossed word then so I would set this aside until you can see that it's completely dry before using it on your piece of work because it's this stick trying to stick wet glue is, I'm sorry wet paper is, is just no fun at all right so let's start assembling the card then so I'm going to stamp two images of this gorgeous gold filigree sorry filigree i'm going to make it gold and so what i did was get a piece of real red cardstock and i'm going to stamp there and i'm going to turn the image around and stamp there now i'm not too worried that it's uh what's the word 
going over each other at that point in the middle because it's going to get covered up anyway. And then I get my gold embossing powder and throw that over the top. And then, da da da! I love gold embossing. Now, I did forget to use my embossing buddy here, but I'm just going to run my finger and also give the paper a bit of a tap to make sure that there's no gold embossing where I don't want it. And the great thing about this is that you can go, go back over and if it's, you haven't done it properly, you can go back over it again. There we go. I'm just going to tidy this up. Okay, so I've tidied that all away and I've also stamped a little flower from the Birds and Branches stamp set this cute little one here and I've embossed sorry stamped with the embossing sorry stamped with the Versamark and then put the gold embossing powder over the top there we go get it out eventually so take time to just heat your heat tool up a little bit and then melt all the gold embossing powder as needed now this would work with silver it could work with copper you know you choose whatever color embossing powder you prefer so it doesn't take too long and you get that beautiful change in the powder where it starts to melt underneath the heat tool and I just love it it's such a magical moment where it all just looks so shiny and pretty so over on the Christmas Stampathon Facebook group that you will see that there are five administrators this year we have Ellen over in Australia we have Esther from the UK we have Denise in America and Shirley over in Australia as well so basically it means that we are kind of like keeping an eye on the page making sure um, everything runs well and also we provide then the inspiration at the beginning of the the challenge period so the challenge period runs from the 25th of the whatever month it is to the 24th of the following month so this is now going to be the kind of february challenge right so here i've got the uh, embossed noels that I did previously and I want to cut these down so the thing that I find the easiest thing to do when I've got to trim something down is to line up the uh, words with some aspect on my trimmer some line on my trimmer so I'm kind of like eyeballing it and I can see that this there's this groove at this point here so I'm just going to trim that off there and then it also makes it easier once you've cut that one side off you can then push the piece right up to the top and you know that that's at right angles and will work Oop, use the right side and then you can turn it around now you can either eyeball this and uh, just hope for the best or again you can push the word up to the point where you saw before which is this kind of like track here and we'll cut that off there and then cut that off there now, some of the eagle-eyed amongst you may have noticed that there's some additional score lines. And this is a super simple way of adding some extra interest to any card. And this is what you do. You flip your piece of card over and you push it to a point on your uh, trimmer. And I'm going to do it to half a centimetre, which works out at approximately quarter of an inch or there under through maybe three fourths sorry three eighths not three fourths and then you score at that point there so I'm turning again getting it to half a centimeter and then score and do it again until you end up with a really lovely simple border going all the way around the piece that you're trying to decorate now the other thing that I can do it on is the uh, card mat here and again really simple just put it in at the half inch sorry half a centimeter mark swivel 
and there you have it so no need for any embossing folders or anything like that no fancy equipment it literally is a score tool now if you don't have a trimmer like this you could use a ruler and a stylus or a ruler and the back of a pen or something like that okay so really simple way of creating some interest right so then my noel is going to sit on top of there and i'm going to cut out my flower now if you don't have the punch that's fine uh, you can just cut it out by hand and it just creates a really lovely little focal point. But I'm going to use this small flower punch just to pop that out because it's nice and easy. And that's going to just add a little bit of extra interest there. And now I know this isn't embossed, but I hope you'll forgive me. But I've got a few of these little ferny leaves left from the laser cut uh, gold foil paper. And I just want to use these up and it just goes to show how a little can go a long way so that's one of the fronds and I'm going to just cut that off about there and I'm actually just going to use those two pieces to stick by my little flower just to sort of draw your attention to it and then stick it all together so I've got Poppy Parade cardstock here as my base I've used real red as the matting layer here smoky slate grey for the noel and then poppy parade for the flower so when it comes to sticking it all together it's pretty easy just put some glue on your layer there don't get it too near the edge like i did stick that layer on Now because I have applied heat to this piece of card, sometimes it wants to warp a little bit. So make sure that you really stick that piece of paper or cardstock down firmly before going on to the next stage. And then for the Noel, I'm just going to pop some dimensionals. And then I'm also going to put a dimensional on my flower, like so. And then this is all going to get stuck down. So this participation in this group is to help everybody kind of get a head start on those Christmas makes. And we've had such lovely feedback from people in the group who, you know, it just takes a little bit of the stress out of having to create so many things for that kind of Christmas season. So please do go over and join the fun and make sure you do join in the group. So I'm just gonna pop a flower down there. Now, I've popped that one dimensional already down because I'm going to use the dimensional to stick my fern down as well. So I'm gonna stick part of that fern there and that other little part. Let's see if I can get a bit closer so you can see what I'm doing. And part of that fern there and then Actually, I should have, I know what, this is e actually easier to do it the other way around. Let me do this a slightly different way. Get the dimensional, and then you put a dimensional over the first dimensional. So it kind of sandwiches the gold foil between it. And then if you want to give it a little bit of a shape, you can do like that. And there we go. You've got your little bit of detail there with your Noel. And... That's my card for this month, using embossing. So, great to have your company. Please do go and have a look at all the other inspiration from the other participants. Uh, some of them, some people have blogs, some people don't, but certainly on the group page, you can, sorry, of the, the Facebook group on, the Facebook group on Facebook, the group on Facebook, you'll be able to see everybody's cards. Right, I'm going to be quiet now and just leave you because uh, my words are just not coming out correctly. Right, take care for now, everybody. Bye.